Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today is just a short video. It's a taste test of Itsu pot noodles. I've had the bao buns and they are delicious. We have katsu, we have chili miso, and we also have uh, satay. So I'm going to be trying them. Um, I did have this because I was gonna. I was actually gonna have this after. I've had the pot noodles. However, I'm not going to anymore because I decided what I want to do is I want to do a blind taste test of these, which is uh, Marks and Spencer's rice pudding versus Tesco's own brand rice pudding, Ambrosia rice pudding, and possibly Tesco's own brand rice pudding. Now. The Tesco's own brand is 25 pence. The Tesco's version, like the Tesco's value is 25 pence for the can. Um, the Tesco's own is 70 pence. The Marks and Spencer's is 75 pence, which is really cheap considering a lot of people seem to think it's an expensive takeaway. And Ambrosia, which is £1.20. So I got my nieces and nephews on the 14th for the weekend. Um, if that's still going to go ahead, then I'm going to get my niece to bring them to me in bowls. And I'll put a sticker underneath each bowl, tell her which bowl it is so she can bring it to me. And I can rank my favourite to the worst and then see uh, if there's a difference. And I'll also let you know if I feel like it's worth buying it or whether you should just buy the, the one for 25 pence. Um, we'll see, but that's coming in a future video. For now, we're gonna be having these. Um, let me show you what is typically inside. <clears throat> right, we have this, which is basically a liquid inside here. We have the noodles, which is rice noodles. And underneath it, we have the herbs and stuff. So also in the pot, it does show you fill it up to here and, you know, same as uh, pot noodle does. So it's going to be a short video today. And yes, there is uh, another camera angle. Um, let me know how you want me to place the other camera. Uh, I call it kind of like a bird's eye view sort of thing of the food area. If you want me to put it a little bit more facing me a bit more better, let me know. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to use my phone to record as well. So, yeah. Right, let me go and get the kettle boiled and I'll bring you guys back. Right, the hot water has been put in. I'm just letting them soften a little bit because you're supposed to let them soften for a couple for uh, five minutes uh, i want to thank everyone who joined me on the live for new year's eve uh, it was fantastic i uh, really did enjoy myself so thank you ever so much i remember and i was trying to remember where i worked at bomba bar school club um i <laughs> i was racking my brains i finally remembered uh, it is in weybridge in surrey um and I'll show you what the shop looks like now. So this barbecue and sushi place, that's where uh, Bombay Bicycle Club used to be situated. And then in this alleyway there, that's where we used to bring the bikes out because there used to be a shed behind the restaurant uh, where we used to put the bikes. And uh, yeah, so many great memories. Like of, of, of being there, man. Um, I really did, 
I really did enjoy working there. Ah, oh, it was it was brilliant. I remember um, it, it all starts come, coming flooding back to me now. I remember I used to deliver to uh, a private estate called St George's Hill. I don't know if you guys have ever known it. John Terry has a place there. David Coulthard, Rod Stewart, um, loads of famous people have homes there. And I used to de deliver um, Indian to them. The amount of times I got lost in there was crazy. Like the amount of times I had to come back to the security gate and be like, where's this address? I can't find it anywhere. And then I have a map and it'll show me, right, well, basically you go up there, da, 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 fourth house or whatever. There was one house in particular, which was, it was, I mean, all the houses were so beautiful. Um, I remember one, one house had a really long driveway, but it was full of stones. Driving on there, on the motorbike was tricky. I was going like two mile an hour on there because, yeah, on, on stones, it is very unstable. But there was one house in particular, I think it was near the golf course. It was, it was beautiful, man. It is probably, it probably had the best views. It, to go up there, you had to go up a really steep hill. And I'm talking like, I, I didn't think my bike would get up the hill. It was that steep. Um, but it was like a, a really big hill and the house is at the very top and they must have had the most beautiful views of the area from there, man. Ah, oh. but yeah, I'm, I, I probably delivered to famous people in there, but I, I can't remember. Um, like, uh, I can't recognize anyone. So I mean, like they're famous, but not famous to me, if, if you catch my drift. But yeah, ah, oh, it's, it was, oh, it was, it was amazing, man, like, I used to love doing that, like with and tips was okay, um sometimes I wouldn't get tipped, which didn't bother me um and that's probably the, the, the what's different about my feeling on tipping compared to other people is with me, I used a company bike, company petrol. I was paid an, a wage by the company, so tips was just a bonus for me. But I suppose if you're using your own vehicle, your own petrol, your own tax and insurance, and I think for your your car that you use, I suppose it's a different. It could be a different story. Um, I don't know how you're paid. Um, I don't know if you work by yourself, you know. But oh, yeah, man, it was. I loved it, man. And I loved it. There, there was a, there was a, another guy. This first one is actually Misu. But there it is. It smells. It smells really good. This is what it looks like, obviously, when you haven't stirred it. And that stuff in the corner is the sauce which is why that was in the sauce packet which is why i've got to give it a little mix first this is the this is the final one but yeah they they, they used to be the set of other delivery driver and he always used to get this one particular bag and i didn't know why until he was off and he didn't come in one day <clears throat> So let me try using his bike. Like, I mean, obviously it wasn't his bike; it was a company bike, but it was one he always went for first, because he was always rapid and back so fast from deliveries. Like sometimes I'll get back from one delivery, and he's he's done two deliveries, and I'm like, wow. Um, and I used his bike. He's a cheater. His one was de-restricted. Um, of all the bikes there, his was the only one that was de-restricted. Um, yeah, when I got on his bike, I was like, whoa. Um, but the, the bikes the bikes we used was called a Honda Innova. Um, it's a semi-automatic. So it had 
gears to change gear and stuff, but it didn't have a clutch, so you didn't have to pull in the clutch to change gears when you wanted to, which was which was not bad. Uh, it was a good little bike, man. Um, it was the bike that replaced the Honda Cub 90 for delivery drivers. Um, but yeah, oh, I used to love it there. I, I did loads of different jobs in there. Uh, I didn't cook. Um, I, I was allowed to, I, I put, I put a naan bread in a tandoor once. Because um, I was, I, I used to watch the chefs and I used to get along with the chefs really well. Lovely guys, absolutely lovely guys. Um, and then he was like, oh, you want, you want to try putting, I was like, yeah, yeah sure. Put it in my hairs instantly just went gone. I was like, Whoa, it's like, Wow, she's like, It is that hot inside a tandoor, um, which is the clay, clay oven basically. Uh, they for Indians, they put the meat inside the tandoor as well as the bread as well as the naan bread to cook it in. So they'll put it on like a big skewer. They'll put the skewer inside the tandoor as well. And that's where we'll cook the, the meats. So like your kufte, your chicken shish type meat, uh, your lamb shish type meat, uh, that's all cooked in a tandoor. And, oh man, yeah, I, 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 I was front of house um, as well where I answered the telephones, um, did the ordering, uh, I, I did washing up sometimes as well, because, um, yeah, like, I mean, I, 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 on a, when, when it's a quiet night, I wanted to help out in other ways, there's no point in us having all the delivery drivers just sitting around doing nothing, so I did want to help out and, and do something else. Right, let's start with the chili misu one you know it's not bad it's actually really nice I think I might have left it too long because I feel like the rice noodles have gotten a bit too soggy maybe Like I don't know if you can see, they do feel a little too soft. Mm. You know what? These are nice because I'm not with with pot noodle. I t t tend to find it gets like a a grainy flavour, like a, and it really you get a really strong taste of salt from a pot noodle. But what surprises me is, as far as I'm aware, there's more salt in these. Then in a pot noodle. Ooh. I 
I need to drink some of the liquid. Almost gone. Oh, that one is not too bad, you know. That chili miso is actually really nice. Next up, we're going to try the satay and see what I think of the satay noodles on this one. The only issue is when filling them all up at the same time. The last one I'm gonna have. <coughs> it's gonna be really soggy. Something like oof. I prefer the um, chili miso to the satay, to be fair. I know this is probably not a great video to start off 2023 with. Obviously, the camera angles will take some practice and getting used to. So, and try not to focus on the other camera, try and focus on the main one more as well. I actually weren't going to film this video. Um, Partly because of all the slurping and stuff of noodles. Um, Yeah, the, the satay is nice, but I do definitely prefer the chili miso.
Right, let's try the katsu now. The katsu is the more popular one or the more common one I'm familiar with. Let's try this one. It does look more full of flavour. Mm. Oh, and the smells coming from it is a lot nicer as well, like a lot stronger. If you're wondering why I've been slurping it and stuff like I have, it's because, look, every time I'm trying to get out a proper forkful, it just slips away. And I'll literally be here all day. Yeah, the, the chicken katsu is really nice. So, oh, look at this, I'm trying to bring up a forkful and it just won't stay on the fork. Oh, that's the first time that's happened. It's nice, but I found with the only thing with all three of them is the noodles are very bland themselves. Let me know whether you think I should keep the camera or whether you think I should keep it just for challenges or what, or whether I should change angle. Um, yeah, let, let me know. I, I'm, still, I'm still experimenting with it, to be fair, so. The next Friday's video is gonna be, I'm trying Swedish meatballs, but it's called faggots, um, or faggots. I don't know how it's pronounced, um, but yeah, it is uh, a Swedish meatball, so I'm looking to try them. I'll probably have them with spaghetti. I definitely said the katsu one was my favorite of the three. Then it was a chili misu, and then after that it was a satay. Uh, satay one didn't hit as good as the others. Um, so yeah, I do recommend it, but I'd, I'd only say get it if it's an offer. If it's not an offer, I'd say it's not really worth it. If you like pot noodles and you want to try something slightly different, I'd say yeah, definitely get them when they're on offer, because they are 
different. It's a rice noodle. It's not a ramen noodle to it. So, yes. I do apologise for this video not being really great. I... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I'm very sorry for that. But tune in again Friday where we have a better video. Fingers crossed. So, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you again Friday.